hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again thank you i really appreciate it you guys you have been engaging in my previous video all the beautiful comments all the likes all the shares i really really appreciate it and i don't take any of this for granted and if you are new to my channel my name is Rane and i am a Mozana young lady staying and living her life here in the uk i've been staying in the uk for a couple of months now and i am working as a staff nurse in my channel i share everything about nursing life in the uk nursing internationally travel vlogs interviews beauty and fashion and everything that is nice that you may think of so if that's any of the things that you love do consider subscribing click on the subscribe button below like share comment and most importantly click on the notification bell below hey so if that's any of the things that you like and that you think you may benefit from do consider subscribing click on the subscribe button below like share comment and most importantly click on the notification that every time i post a video you get notified i've seen with the title of the video that i'm going to be talking more about oet exam um i've promised in my previous video that i'll share in detail or much details about the two tests that's the alts and the oet exam so specifically for this video i'm going to be only talking about the oet that's the occupational english test so without wasting your time let's get right into the video right you ready okay OET exam it stands for the occupational English test and this is one of the exams that the NMC UK has put out there as a requirement for nurses to write in order for them to join the register right to join the NMC UK register so this exam is there to actually test your English proficiency and it's recognized in a couple of countries. I think it's recognized in the UK, in Ireland, in Australia, and I think a few more countries as well. So it's not just recognized here in the UK. So it was created for healthcare professionals, that's the doctors, nurses, dietitians, pharmacists. So the format of this test the test is made of four components that's the speaking the listening the writing and the reading part four components so they're going to check using this four components your english proficiency so um in any of these or in all of this they use scenarios i'd say that suit your scope of practice so if you are a nurse they're going to use the 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 short story or the the paragraph or in a nursing uh, setup or in a nursing i'd say a clinical setting i'll say so if you are a doctor obviously more focused into in in, in in um practice but if you are a nurse it will suit um your profession or your scope of practice four components um so like i mentioned is there to test your english proficiency so in this four components i'll try to go through the four components all together and then just give you a bit of light in these four components i'll start with the with the listening part the listening part is actually the first part that you will write in the exam i think yes yes so this listening um exam is made of three parts the, the 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 overall time for the listening test is it's 45 minutes you are given 45 minutes to answer 42 questions 
so the first part that is part a part a has i think 25 questions if not 24 25 questions so what happened you listen to a conversation between um a, do a doctor or uh you listen to um a consultation extract between a nurse or a doctor and a patient so it is more like um well i've mentioned it uh like a, con a consultation you listen to what is being said in that consultation room and then they'll ask you questions afterwards uh basing on what happened in that scenario that's the part the first part that's part a and then part b is i think you listen to like a handover sort of or a discharge plan kind of conversation and then you answer multiple choice questions that's part b and then part three part three is more like um um a presentation i would say a presentation of a condition or something or anything i guess guys but yeah so part c your near presentation so listening test in the history parts so you just listen to what is being said read your question and then answer but you should know that personally those listening comprehensions that we used to do back in i think primary um what happens is you answer your questions but it's i would say the listening is it's well it's not too difficult it's not difficult it's it's the easiest according to me anyway my experience according to me that's the, li the listening part of oet and then the other part that you will that you will, um go through well let me just pick any echoes it will be your reading what happens in reading reading has three parts and it will last for one hour and you have three parts that's part a part b and part c in part a you'll be having 15 minutes to answer 20 questions so you'll be answering 20 questions within that 15 minutes period away so that you go to another part so this uh part of the 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 exam it will check your skimming skills whether you can skim through the text and be able to answer short answer questions or sentence completion questions and yeah so that's basically that's part a so you need to manage your time quite well in this part because it's only 15 minutes for 20 questions and then there is part b what happens in uh part b i think it's only six questions so the six questions um it's multiple choice so again it will also test your skimming and uh, what do they call there's a term they use but they test for through the text and answer questions complete questions and uh, match questions and then part c part c paragraph you have the paragraph the two two paragraphs and in those paragraphs you go through you just skim through the the the, the two texts and then answer multiple choice questions that's it with the reading one hour three parts and then you have the writing with the writing you have only one task and it will last for a total time of 45 minutes and it's going to be a writing form task 
so you either write a transfer letter you either write a discharge letter in that 45 minutes that's it worth writing and then speaking in speaking you will last 20 minutes approximately 20 minutes so what happens in 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 speaking is you have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with what we call an interlocutor that's your examiner or someone that is there to assist you to, to complete your speaking exam so you have a conversation that person will act as a patient and you play a role of a nurse so if you're a nurse you play a role of a nurse if it's oet for doctors you play a role of a doctor so you have two parts in this exam the first part is the introduction part you know you'll be recorded like like general questions introduce yourself why did you choose nursing like just sort of a short conversation like that an introduction converse an introductory conversation like that yeah and then you go to role plays you have two role plays so the role plays they will consist of clinical situations um clinical situations or scenarios and then you be expected to act as a nurse in that situation if that makes sense so that's your speaking test so basically that's like the summary of the oet format oet exam format yeah so we will move on to um 